the phenomenon that you just witnessed is called time travel. Time travel can be explained through the special relativity theory of 1905 by Albert Einstein. This theory states two main postulates. The first postulate declares that the laws of motion are the same in all inertial, meaning non-accelerating, reference frames. The second postulate affirms that the speed of light is always constant in a vacuum with 300 million meters per second. As we all know, speed multiplied by time equals distance. In our case, v is c, the speed of light. But as the second postulate tells us, the speed of light is always constant, meaning the two other variables have to change, time and distance. When time changes, that's called time dilation. And when distance changes, we speak of length contraction. Time dilation occurs when two reference frames are moving relatively to each other. Imagine this, a rocket ship is moving through space. In the rocket ship is a light clock, with the light beam traveling between two panels at the speed of light. An observer aboard the rocket ship perceives the light to be traveling vertically between the two panels. As the rocket ship flies by Earth, the observer on the rocket ship perceives Earth to be moving past him. For an observer on Earth, Earth seems to be standing still, and the rocket ship seems to be moving past Earth. Since the light clock is aboard the rocket ship, it appears to be in motion for the observer on Earth. Therefore, the light beam of the light clock seems to be moving diagonally. This would mean that the light beam would be traveling a greater distance than the eyes of the observer on Earth. Well, now we have a problem. Which observer is right if both observers measure two different lengths? No need to panic on the Titanic since both observers are right. According to the second postulate, once distance changes, time must change as well in order for speed to remain a constant. Therefore, time passes slower for the observer on the rocket ship relative to the time on Earth. You're probably wondering why we showed you the time travel clip earlier. Well, time travel can be easily explained through time dilation. This works because the human body functions like a biological clock. Let's assume Tom and Bill are twins. If time is passing slower for Tom on the rocket ship due to time dilation, he's also aging slower. This means that when Tom and Bill reunite on Earth, Tom will be younger than Bill. In conclusion, Tom is a time traveler because he witnesses time passing fast on Earth without aging that much himself.